You know, I think one of the most beautiful things about our creator is that there are little and tiny subtle emblances of him and heaven and prophecy layered throughout his creation. And we don't even realize it. Take sleep, for example. We fall asleep. We don't know exactly when we fall asleep. We just, we just fall asleep at nighttime. Then we dream. And those dreams feel like we just went from one place to another. We just got in a car. We drove to a place. And then we come back home. The dreams feel like we're actually alive, like living. I mean, we are alive. We're just asleep. But we're not in the cognizant world anymore. We are in our, in our head. And we wake up and we wake up thinking, whoa, all these hours just went by. I just fell asleep. See, the problem with um, many reading their Bibles today is that they take verses like this one and they take a verse and then they build an entire theology around it and they completely disregard the rest of the entirety of scripture. They don't connect. You see, scripture is like an entire beaded necklace, and each prophecy is a bead on a string. You can't just take one bead and call it the whole necklace. It all connects, and it all has to connect. If one thing doesn't add up, it's our understanding of it. If, if this verse doesn't add up to the entirety of the other prophecies, then we don't understand the scripture that we're given. All throughout scripture... It talks about the dead being asleep. The, the dead are asleep. When you go to sleep, I mean, you go to sleep, you wake up in the morning and you don't even remember those hours that had passed. Same with being dead. Our Messiah says the dead don't know anything. The dead don't know that they're dead. And it makes sense when they fall asleep. When the first resurrection happens, which is our hope. That is the ho That was the hope of the apostles. That was the hope of... All of the saints in the Old Testament, our hope is we're being raised with him at the resurrection. So it would make sense that when you fall asleep, you're going to wake up at the resurrection and it's going to feel like you had just died or you had just lived. So yes, being absent from the body is to be present with the Lord because you're going to be raised at the first resurrection. Now, what sense does it make? Now, really think about this and think about it with all the prophecies together, including Messiah's. Now, what sense does it make to raise the dead who are already with him in glory? What sense is it to come back if when we die, we're with him in glory? Scripture says our hope is the resurrection and our inheritance is the earth. Don't add or take away.